The founder of a controversial group of charter schools has received a 14-year prison sentence for grand theft involving your tax dollars. It's been nearly five years since the I-Team first investigated the Gateway Schools and their ties to a radical Pakistani cleric. Our Dan Noyes has this I-Team follow-up report. Gateway Academy operated 12 charter schools around the state, including Oakland and Sunnyvale. In Fresno yesterday, its founder and president received 14 years in state prison for siphoning off taxpayer and private funds that were supposed to be going to the schools. Her charter school really created a bad name in the charter school movement in the state of California, and it generated a lot of uh, civil litigation in addition to this criminal matter. Khadija Gafoor was convicted of five counts each of misappropriation of public funds and grand theft by embezzlement, one count of theft by false pretenses, failing to file a tax return in 2000, and filing a false return the next year. In court, she remained defiant. I feel uh, today uh, that I'm absolutely innocent of the charges, and I, I shall appeal it. The I-Team first showed you almost five years ago how the charter schools began. 300 followers of a radical Pakistani cleric set up this village in the Sierra foothills called Baladula. Along with the schools, they started an online bookstore for the writings of Sheikh Mubarak Jelani. See how your struggle against oppression has to be carried on. Jelani is listed by the State Department as a terrorist, tied to dozens of crimes across this country, firebombings and assassinations. He's also been linked to the murder of Daniel Pearl. The journalist was kidnapped while on the way to meet Jelani. We obtained a recruitment tape in which the Sheikh offers training to any American sympathetic to his cause. Ordering youth is turned into, you know, very like tigers. It covers the use of firearms and explosives, setting up an ambush, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Even before our investigation, Baladula's neighbors were concerned about activity at the village. Gunfire in the afternoon and a gunfire late at night. Some of it sounds like target practice and other is, is rapid fire. Um, it makes you question whether or not they've got automatic weapons. After the I-Team looked into the group's charter schools, the Fresno School District sent officers in search of documents and closed them down. That investigation ended this week with Khadija Gafur's sentencing. This case has had a broad impact across the state. It spurred major reforms in charter school law to make them more accountable both financially and academically. For the I-Team, I'm Dan Noyes, ABC7 News.